Mira is a cougar, also known as a mountain lion or puma. This is North America's largest feline predator. Um, there's a couple of things you're going to notice about Mira as she's walking towards us. One are the fact that her feet are very floppy when she's walking, and she's walking clear back almost to her dew claw on the back part of her ankle. You might have also noticed she's got a little bit of a bloody nose. And these are some of the challenges we see with animals that are kept as house pets, especially big cats when they're declawed. Uh, now technically she's a small cat, but she was completely declawed because somebody didn't want her to be able to scratch them or her family members. And as a result of that, she's left now with just horrible degradation in her joints and her toes and her ankles. All of her tendons are broken down. The bloody nose, we're not quite sure what is going on with that, so we rely an awful lot on our really very dedicated and knowledgeable vet team to help us figure out challenges like this one. And she is on quite an array of medications every single day. She gets medicine delivered twice a day to help her with the apparent bloody nose and all of the pain in her joints from the declaw that she's gone through. Hi, Mira. Hi, sweetheart. Your nose is bleeding a little today, isn't it? Just a little. Yeah, sure, good girl. All right, well, here we have our two sulcata tortoises. They, we have Coco and Puff. They both weigh about 50 pounds. They, they're both about 30 years old. They can live to be about 60 to 80 years old, so they're middle-aged at best. So they still, they still have half their life to go. They're, but they're about 50, 50 pounds, like I said, and they can grow to be double that size, about 100, 110 pounds. They are native to the African like desert area. That's why these are not common for pets here because we don't live in a desert really anywhere around here. So that's why they're here. In the winter they're inside where it's warmer. We have a heated floor in there to keep we the only time they're outside is when it's hot like this and then they also have a heat lamp inside their little hut there just in case they, they do get cold. I believe there's several other heat lamps around here. But I believe this one's yeah, this one's Puff, and this one's Coco, and they're, are they brothers? Nope. They're not brothers? Okay. They aren't brothers. They are two males, though, and as you can see, they love watermelon. They have greens, they, and then, greens is the biggest portion of their diet, and they also have a little bit of produce in here, and then every now and then they get a big chunk of some, some type of fruit. Today they got watermelon. They obviously love it because it's almost gone already. All right, so these are tortoises. A lot of people call them turtles. However, they aren't turtles because tortoises are just land only. However, and turtles are land and water. So that's a, the easy way to tell them apart. If it goes in the water, then it's a turtle. And if it just stays on ground for on land its entire life, then it's a tortoise. But oh, we, we just have tortoises here. We don't have any turtles, but everybody, everybody still says turtle. They, we're, they are really common in the exact pet trade, which is where we get a lot of our animals from here. But they were they are sold in pet stores all around here. But they, people buy them not knowing how big they can actually get, and then they get that big, and they're like, we can't take care of this anymore because they don't have they don't have the space for them, and they are quite messy, even though they're just tortoises. But they are very common in the exotic pet trade, so we have had to turn turn away a lot of them just because we, we don't have the room for them. As you can see, they have a huge yard here, and there's only two of them, so they need a lot of room. But we take in it what we can. So 
we hope you enjoyed your visit with us at Black Pine. It's just a little bit of a glimpse of what we do every day. We are open to the public. We welcome visitors daily from Memorial Day through Labor Day. And we also have additional tour opportunities throughout the year seasonally. And hope that you'll visit our website at blackpine.org and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll be tweeting too, so follow us out there in the stratosphere and make a plan to come and visit Black Pine. We appreciate your support. It's the only way we can do what we do.